Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you've not been here before, my name is Andrea and I make hobby videos, particularly colouring ones, though we do do other things as well. Um, thank you for joining me. If you're a subscriber, thank you. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. To everybody who keeps coming back, I'm, I'm not sure why you do, but thank you very, very much. It's much appreciated. We are going to com keep, com blah, blah, blah. continue colouring in witchcraft colouring book for uh, adults uh, by Morgan Sky. Yeah. Now, uh, thanks to Chelsea who suggested this was a rock. I think it still looks like a potato to me, but I think she might be right and it might be a rock. So <laughs> she might be right there. So <laughs> a rock could never even crossed my mind. I still think it looks like a potato, but I think we might do it as a rock. We'll, we'll decide when we get to it. We're going to colour in the um, leaves and the stems first. So yes, thanks Chelsea for just it might be a rock. Uh, I don't know why I got potatoes on the brain. There you go. So how how is everybody? I hope everybody's really well with everything that's going on in this mad and crazy world in which we live. Uh, yeah, I hope I hope everybody is. So you know, it's a bit, this desk's not the biggest. Can't use downstairs because Paul's working down there, which means he's in a meeting. Oh yes, he is. That's why I'm doing this instead of eBay at the moment. So, still, I don't mind. Gives me a chance to make a video for you guys, doesn't it? Which is great. So, yeah, we're all good here. Jennifer's, um, she's in school. She's fine. She's growing up so fast. She can do so many things on her own now that she didn't before or couldn't before. And it's just, it's just really mad. It, it is, it's, it's just amazing. She's, every now and again, as I read your story tonight, she goes, no, I want to read on my own. I mean, she's still not reading big books and stuff like that, but she wants to read or try to read on her own, which I think is really sweet. You know, so you might be like, she's reading, the simple books like Spot, but the ones with words in and So Down Sydney. And when she just can't get a word, she'll just ask, which is the best way of doing it. Last night, Paul read a bit of the Twits to her. I'll probably read a bit of the Wizard of Oz to her tonight. It's my turn. We take it in turns. I said, I'm not reading the Twits. I don't know what happens in it. I can't just read one odd chapter here and there. I need to read the whole book. So I will read the book. I'll probably read that when he's finished reading it to her. So, we've had one sale and I have got an auction item ending tonight. So, yeah. It's all good fun doing this. <laughs> So uh, yeah, we have actually got all of Jennifer's presents now apparently, which is good. It's a relief because obviously she's the one we've got to buy for Maine. She's the main person we get presents for. I mean, Paul's getting me some books. I'm getting him a DVD and a few other bits and pieces, but nothing too expensive. He buys his mum's presents. I buy my mum and dad's and we sort of work it out between us. Um, and then Chris should be home this year, my younger brother. So hopefully he will we'll get him something as well. It's always, always nice when he comes home because I haven't seen him since before COVID, which is, oh God, it's five years now. So we do want him to come home. We do miss him very much. So hopefully he will. I mean, Jennifer doesn't remember him. He came home one of the Christmases and she sat on his knee and gave him bits of cuddles and she says she wants to give him a big cuddle. She wants him to come home so she can cuddle him. He's not a very cuddly person, but he puts up with it for her. It's always nice when he gets home. I'm going to find something to have for tea tonight. I think I'm going to have pizzas because that's easy and I don't have to do too much with it. 
Also, you cook it from frozen. Try and sort out my freezer now, ready to get the Christmas stuff in it. Because I like to start buying stuff, not really early, but I mean, we're in October now, so it's not long. Just simply because I like to make sure we've got enough fruit of vegetables and stuff because of Paul's mum's comes to Christmas. Um, so I need to make sure I've got stuff like stock cubes in and roast potatoes. So I need to sort my freezer out for the frozen stuff. Because I just buy the roast potatoes. I'm not I'm not hanging around making roast potatoes and I'm using frozen veg. And I don't care. I don't care what anybody says, that is how I'm doing it. And if they don't like it, they can go do one. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to Christmas. I mean, I'm still making money from eBay and I'm not spending a lot of money. I did treat myself to a book last night on eBay um, about um, Florence Thomas, who's the very first movie star because back before Florence Th Thomas was actually named, then the studios didn't, and the filmmakers didn't, because they weren't big studios then, it was very small companies that grew into the studios. They, to, to be able to keep paying their stars or their actors low amounts of money, they just um, credited them as, say, the Biograph Girl or... Um, the Lamel girl, Lemley, I can't pronounce his name, but and so on. So the Mayor girls or the Fox girls, it would be like that. So Florence Thomas was the Biograph girl. And uh, she left Biograph when they wouldn't give her a raise and her contract ended with them. And she went to, to work for Carl Lemelly. I can't pronounce his name. I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced. Anyway, very famous uh, pioneer in the movie industry. Um, and first of all, he put about that she'd been killed in a, a, a I think it was a, a, like a tram accident. Um, and he put it out under uh, somebody else's name. And then he had, no, no, she's not dead. The, the biograph girl is not dead. Her name is Florence Thomas and she has now signed an inclusive contract with me. And then she was billed under her name, Florence Thomas. Um, and that's how the stars started getting a lot more money and pay commensurate with their status because they were the ones who brought in the fans. The fans would go to see Florence Thomas or Wallace Reed or Mabel Normand or Mary Pickford. They wouldn't, you know, just go to see a director necessarily. You wouldn't go to see a film because it was directed necessarily by William Desmond Taylor. You would go because, say, Mabel Normand was in it or Charlie Chaplin was in it. You might go and see a film by W.D. Griffiths because it's W.D. Griffiths, there were, there were a few of them like that. And, and even David Temple said, oh, it's by Billy Wilder or it's by Quentin Tarantino, I must see it. Um, so there are some directors that are in that level, like Hitchcock, again, is another one. But they're very few and far between. Mostly you, you went to the movies to enjoy yourself, but if you liked a particular actor, you'd go and watch them. So I quite like Nicolas Cage, and for a while I'd go and watch all his films at the cinema. I don't know, I don't go, it's too expensive. Um, I love cinema, but it is. It's far too expensive to go. So people would go and see it because it was Marilyn Monroe in a movie or Elvis Presley in a movie or it's old Marlon Brando or it's Betty Grable. So, so and the, the, but that's how they started getting pay commensurate with their status was because of Carla Lamelli and it's, um, and Florence Thomas. So I'm really interested in that. I've got a lot more interested in the early days of the Hollywood. I have got a book up on the side about the Hollywood pioneers, but it's quite far down on the pile. But I'm going to try and get that out to read after I finish reading the Hollywood Book of Death. So I finished book three in the Yester Time series, talking about reading. I've, I've mentioned it before, I believe, about the guy who went back in time through a portal. Well, in the last book, so there's three books in the series, Yester Time, The Yester Time Effect and The Yester Time Warning. There is a fourth book coming out. I think it's December 23rd. And in the third book, he and Natalie O'Brien, who was a movie star, desperate to get back to the 21st century. Now... One of the people with him thinks that they can work out a way through um, the maze of portals to get them back to around 2025, give or take. Depending on how 
a stable the portal is because the portals are closing down for some reason and they don't know why. So they um, they start on this journey back and it's really good. There's somebody who tries to shut off the portal finder before they get home because he thinks that's the best thing to do but they do eventually manage to get it uh, working again and the portals come back online. Um, and of course when they do get back of course there's where, where have you been all this time and the national security agency is after them and they say look if anything happens to me because natalie o'brien was a famous actress who disappeared she says yes it's me i am back this is what happened tells the whole story about time travel and if anything happens to me uh, everybody will know that it is the nsa because we just you know they, they had basically told them that that's what would be it's so yeah i'm looking forward to see where they, he where he takes the story in uh, the next one because obviously the portals are still there but they are dying off and i just wonder if perhaps they're they're dying off because of the stuff that was put through them by the time travel project in the future trying to control it all you never know but obviously there's enough uh, to go on for another book so we'll have to see but it is i enjoyed them they're well worth reading so I'm also reading a book about called Songs of Willow Frost. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. That's about a, it's, it's um, a young Chinese boy, I think I did actually, whose uh, mother disappears. He's told she's dead. He's put into an orphanage. He goes to the cinema and he sees the woman he thinks is his mother on screen singing. And it turns out that she is his mother. That's as far as I've got. Well, now we're telling her side of the story, a bit of her story now. Um, so be interesting to see where that goes. It's it's taking me a while because it's not one of those ones where I'm gripped by it that I have to know what happens. I wanted to know if it was his mum and I'm glad that it was but now I'm wondering where it's going to go. You do though don't you? You wonder. I've got pens all over the place um, at the moment. So I've got a set of Arteza of blends in the bedroom because I was colouring pictures in there the other day. Um, obviously I'm using these ones in here, which is fine, they're fine. I love these pens, but they're expensive, but I would save up and buy them again. Um, I've got to be honest, I've got some pens coming from TikTok shop. I don't know what they're going to be like, they're touch markers, I'm assuming they're touch markers, there's touch on the bag, because they had a really good deal on them, and I think I got 48 for £8, and that's including shipping. It was like six six ninety nine, and then £2 shipping. It's so cheap. They'll be here this week. So I will make a video about them when I get them. So we'll swatch them out and we'll have a little colour in with them. Because um, they have got, and this is on offer, so I don't know if the offer's still on or whether it's now ended because I haven't been on TikTok shop lately to have a quick look. They had the offer for 168 markers. How much do you think they were charging for them? On offer, £19, 10 pence plus £2 shipping. When they're not on offer, they're £27 to £2. And that's still bloody good for 168 markers. Of course, they're being mass produced out in China, so I would imagine that's what's happening with them. But I don't know. So I just got to find a nice yellowy one that will work here. Is this a nice one? Kind of sunflower? Yeah, that'll do. Um, so I'm hoping they'll come soon. I know they are now in the country. So it's just a matter of waiting for them to actually arrive on my doorstep. I cannot wait. So, I, I mean, I'll want to use them straight away, but I won't. I'll wait until I get them and then I'll show them to you. Um, I have got a few things on TikTok shop before, but usually it's more sort of stuff from brands. So, for instance, the makeup brand P. Louise, because I like their stuff. I haven't bought anything lately, obviously, because I don't wear makeup very often. I make TikToks and I don't put makeup on. Sometimes I do. It depends if I'm putting makeup on to go out somewhere. Then yeah, of course I'll put makeup on. But if I am not, I won't bother. What's that colour? Hang on, that is antique pink. Yeah, and this one is. Got to it that'll do. So yeah, I mean I'm really looking forward to, to seeing what they're like. I've bought a couple of books this week. Well, last week I went to the shop by Paul's mum and bought a couple of books. 
I was a bit shocked. They put the price up from 25 pence for a paperback to 50p. That's still cheap. I only bought two because I left my purse at home so I had to borrow some money off a pool and I bought um, Little Women. I have never read it. I apologise for those of you who are big fans. I've never read it but it was there so I bought it. And Charlotte Grey by Sebastian Fox because I love bird songs so. Um, but yeah, I mean, but what makes me laugh is they've put the price up to 50p and I'm, I think that's fine. That's perfectly acceptable for a paperback book, second hand. But then outside on the door, they got a notice saying uh, no donations of games or books as we don't have any space for them. So why are you selling your books at a higher price if you've got no space for them? Sell them cheap and get a shot. I don't mind. I, I still, I did, if I had my purse, I probably still would have bought four or five books. I would have probably spent about two or three quid in there. Easy, quite happily. But I'm going to pop into my latest, my local bookshop, bookshop I wish it was, my local charity shop who does still sell for 25p, um, which is um, a charity called All Creatures Great and Small, which is a animal welfare uh, charity uh, based out of Cumbran, I think. Um, they have a shopping risk and they get, I mean, Paul bought three DVDs and two CDs for a pound on the weekend. The only reason he doesn't look at books very much is because he doesn't know what, he's, what I've got and sometimes he's bought me books I've had. So, and that's okay. I'm not complaining. So, I'm going to pop in there this afternoon. I've got to go to the post office anyway, so I will, I'm going to go and visit my mum after work. After work. Well, this is not work, but you know, I mean, normal time I would finish work if I was working. Um, and then I'm going to go to mum's, have some lunch with my mum and dad, and then I will, about two o'clock, I say I'm going because I'm going to go have a look around the charity shops now. It's all right then. Um, and if I can, I'll get my prescription from the chemist because I keep forgetting it is there. Should be there by now, anyway. Get that done and then I can park the car, take my item that I have sold, which is just a top, into the post office. Drop it off, I've got plenty of money on my drop and go account. I've got to sort out some of the bits to do um, at some point. And then I'll just go in and I can browse the books for a bit. Um, I'll have a bag with me to put them in. And I'll have a look see if there's anything I fancy in there. If there is, I'll get it. If there isn't, I won't. Oh dear me, I'm tired. It's hard work though, sometimes. I mean, we went out Saturday. I'd walk around... Uh, the cemetery went in the charity shop like I said because we visit Paul mum, Paul's mum and then took a load of photos in the cemetery and came home was absolutely shattered absolutely shattered it's hard work sometimes so yeah it's all good though I'm less stressed not being in an office environment I could set my own hours so at the moment it's fairly easy going doing some photography um, again in a bit once uh, Paul's had his meeting he's gonna have a meeting they have them that's just the way it goes and then I'll uh, Doing very well with this today. I'm sorry, I do apologise. Can't see where this pen goes in the box. Um, hmm. Hello, there must be a space for your somewhere. I might put these in a different box just because I can't see where the old. Oh, there it is at the end. <laughs> right, what am I looking for? Oh, let's see this potato. Whoops, I mean the, the rock. Let us do the rock. Oh. 
I still think it looks like a potato. But we'll do a little grey rock. It's all nature. I mean, it, it most likely is a rock. I'd like to say, I'd like to ask her, Morgana, is this a, a rock or a potato? Because it looks like a potato. She has no rock. Because it, okay, it's just me. I got potatoes on the brain. Oh dear me. I can't find my Kindle Oasis, you know. I don't know what I've done with it. It's got to be here somewhere. I just don't know where. <clears throat> it, it's a bit of a nuisance, I'm afraid, that I have absolutely no idea where it is. It's a bit more of a... There we go. <laughs> it's a potato. It's Mr. Potato. Okay, let's have a look. Oops, where are we? The wrong way around. That's no good, is it? Right. Battery change time. Okay, oh, sorry, it's the battery. Uh, we're going to do the key and the chain now. It is nice. Gold from, what's it from? The works. Metallic gel pen. Yeah, it's been we had a nice weekend we did. It was a nice weekend. But I'm tired. It's hard work. I'll go through Dead Spider on the desk, I think. Something anyway. Paul's been cleaning in here. Bless him. I was doing the washing. Oh, I get fed up with you. Do you feel like the washing never ends? That you're constantly putting stuff in the machine. I do. It just feels like it's never ever ending. And I, uh, I guess the point where I've just had enough. I'm getting hungry. I must be getting on to lunchtime. I'm gonna have dinner at Mum's today, so be nice a pasty with my mum and dad and I'm going into town tomorrow to have a look around the charity shop see if there's anything worth picking up because I missed last week to uh, see how it goes running out of some of these pens. Uh, can't really afford to replace uh, jelly rolls. That's one thing. I have got some money saved that I could treat myself with but I might wait till I get a Miss Pay payout. So Miss Pay is an app that you use, you play games through the, via the app and it counts how long you pay for and it's quite scary because you can actually look to see how many hours you've played games. Um, and what it does is after so much it gives you some what they call units and eventually you can get money from them as little as 50 pence up to 100 pounds um, but the amount you need to play to get 100 pounds is horrific play a new game yes you go through the ranks quite quickly and get a load of points but the longer you play the longer you need to play until you reach checkpoint 20 when it runs out and you you can't get any more for that game um, I have found a game I really, really like, and I've been playing it quite, quite a lot. And I literally do. You get all the checkpoints for the day, or all the units for the day. So you can play it for so long, and then it'll say, "Right, that's it." You can still play it, obviously. We just don't get anything for it, so I stop. Play a different one. And every now and again, they'll give you a unit that says um, a notice that says, "Play any game for twenty minutes, any new game for twenty minutes," and we'll give you fifty units. I try and find a new game then. I've got a lot of games on there, I don't play them all. Um, they're ones I started because of the play a game for fifty for twenty minutes and get fifty units. And then I think, well, in that case I can do that and then I can just you know, get that bit of money. 
and uh, carry on with it, you know. So it's quite good fun. Because the way I look at it is I like to play games on my phone anyway. So why not play games that you like and earn money from it at the same time? So I mean, you might as well. Let's do this moon. That's the way I look at it. I think I might as well do me... If I'm going to play games, I might as well play them through them and, and earn some money. Um, even if it's only pennies, which it is only pennies. But eventually, I'll give them, I could actually take a payout of 50 quid. But I know if I did that, I'd spend it very quickly. I have got tomorrow, uh, next month, there is a Marilyn book coming out that I want. So I'm trying to save it for when that comes out. And then when that comes out, I will uh, get it and uh, we'll see, see how it goes. I'm just going to do this with gel pen. I'm not very good at doing these uh, gem things, so I don't really worry too much about it. But yeah, so... Oh, it's tiring. No idea what the time is. Anyway, that's quite nice because uh, if I was at the office, I'd be looking at the clock. I'd be clock watching by now. Because you do get to the point where it's like, oh, I've had enough now. I want to go home. But here, I just don't. I just crack on and get on with what I've got to do. And then if it's all fine, it's great. And if it's not, it's not. You know, get as much done as I can. Some days I get more done than others. Today is going to be a day I don't get as much done as I would like because obviously Paul's got his meeting. And tomorrow I'll do a bit before I go out because there's no point going out till around half nine. Then I'll, I'll head off to town. I'll quick look around the charity shops. If I'm out there quite late, I might get some lunch. It depends. And we'll, we'll see. See what's happening. It's also good to have a walk and get some fresh air. Sorry, well, you can't even see what I'm doing. I'm being completely useless again. Sorry. I don't know why. But we're nearly there. So I haven't watched any TV lately. Um, I've been watching some YouTube Finders Beepers History Seekers as always. Love those that channel. Um, what else? Bit of Marilyn. Obviously colour in. Um, yeah, there's a few channels I really like. Fascinating Horror is a good one. I'm going to yawn. Excuse me. Oh, dear me. It's awful. Oh. We're nearly done. I love this colouring. I mean, I'm looking at how many books I've got and I think, oh my god, there's far too many. But I will get through them. And um, I've got a few people who've asked for me to colour in specific books. Well, I've got three so far and I will colour in all those books at some point. you just got to give me a bit of chance. So um, I have got a piece of paper when I'm, I, I am writing them down now. Um, do you want me to start them this month? I might start one this month because the first one is Tropic Goth by Carla Magana. On my list, I might do that one this month. That might be the next one. I've got to find it. It's in a pile somewhere. 
I'm hoping, I've got a, I think I know where it is, I think I put it to the top of a pile anyway. So. And that was Chelsea that asked for that book. And she also wants me to colour using the Deco Time pencil. So I think we might do the picture with that. I usually use markers. I've never done one in pencil, so I might give it a go. It'd be a little challenge for me, wouldn't it? Then somebody else asked for Back to the Future and Black Widows. And then somebody else asked for Disney posters, vintage posters, which is cool because I want to do one in there. So I like this. So yeah, if you're watching um, any of my videos, of my uncoloured collection. There is another instalment to come soon, probably Wednesday. Um, so yeah, it will be coming soon. Just keep an eye out for that. Put this pen back. Let's sort these pens out soon because there's not many in there. I can get rid of them. Ah! Done there for now. Right, and this one maybe, look. Yeah, that'll do, it's very light. So yeah, I think we'll we'll do that. So if you... That was Paul just letting me know that his meeting's finished and I can go back down, but I'm gonna finish this first, so. Yeehaw. It doesn't really finish now, might as well finish it off, haven't we? I'll take a picture of it and I will put it up on my Instagram, but not until after I've posted the video, so, because I'm nice like that. Oh, I love it. All good fun. Just colouring lark. I love colouring. I'm so glad that it became a thing and I started doing it again because it's just so nice. I could just lose myself in a colouring book for a few hours a day. You know, even when Jennifer's home because she loves colouring too. Let's get this so I can do this end. And so I, I'll start colouring something. She's watching TV. She goes, Oh, I want to colour too. And I was like, Well, get your book then. Come on. Mummy, in the end, she started to the point now where she won't let me see what she's colouring. I've got to wait till she's finished colouring it. And then she likes to, she shows me, she surprises me with it once once she's finished colouring the picture, which is quite nice. I go, I'm not looking. Which is quite funny because she gets so territorial about her pictures when she's colouring. And yet sometimes we'll sit and colour together as well, which is really nice. So we are still planning to do that video. I just don't know when Paul's going out. It's not this week. I think it's next week now. Um, I, I thought it was this Friday, but it looks like it's next Friday. So, But we will definitely do it when she wants to. So I think it'll be quite good fun to sit and colour with Jen. She, her imagination, she doesn't need to... And like us adults, we have to really work hard at colouring something different than we than the norm. Because she's a child, she's got no expectation of that. She just colours what she feels. And it's really nice because, you know, I see a house or I see a tree, especially a tree. And I want to colour, I, you know, and I feel compelled to colour it tree colours, brown and green. Um, it's very hard for me to get out of that mindset and just go mad and colour it to purple or orange. And she just colours things, sometimes she colours things green and that, but sometimes she just thinks I'm going to colour it this colour and it's lovely to see her do that. And she's so good. She's such a good girl. So yeah, I look forward to that. We will get it done. I've got the book here. It'll be Tiny Animals by Jade Summer because she wanted it. Oh, I don't know. She always wants my books. If I buy books, I have to really hide them from her so she can't see them otherwise she gets upset like with the um disney book the posters she wanted it and it, I, it was a present for me from her brother so i couldn't really but there you go. hello to richard and claire if you're watching i know you say you watch all the videos so hello that's my brother and his wife 
if you're watching. Hello, say hello in the comments. Oops, oh, it's a pencil. It's one of the deco times I was using it in um, a Johanna Basford book. Um, they work quite well in the Johanna Basford books, to be fair. I guess it depends on paper. They're like all pencils, doesn't that really? You know. Oh, I'm loving this. So I'm not bothered whether I do any more UB stuff today or not, although I've got to pack up my uh, my order and I'll go do that in a minute. It's simply because it'll still be there this afternoon when Jennifer gets home and she'll be watching TV. It's just so hard to do anything with Paul around because he sits by, yeah, it's not his fault. He's got to work too. His money is the main money that we get. I've got to get some diesel at some point. I might try and get it tomorrow on the way to Newport. Nearly done now. Oh, I love it. And yeah, I'm doing a Kirby Rosanna's pumpkin, Halloween pumpkin. And uh, it's looking good, but it's taken me a while. I've stopped for a minute to finish another picture I've had on the go for a while. <laughs> oh, it's just a pattern. I've nearly finished it now, so I'll finish that today and then I get back to that one. Got a buddy cozy with Chelsea I haven't forgotten. I'm working on it. Got one with Molly. Got a, I haven't started that one yet. But I will. They're all Halloween related as well, which is really cool. By uh, by the time Halloween comes around, I'll have had enough of Halloween. I'll be sick of it. I'll be like, oh, well. And then, of course, we'll be sick of Christmas stuff by the time Christmas comes. Don't get me wrong. I love Christmas. And I love Christmas pages as well. I try not to start them too early. I try and do them in around the end of um, November. And then through the, through December, so I've got a few Christmassy books to do. Not a huge amount, but a few. Oh, there we go. Nearly finished. A little bit, one little bit left to go. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's a bit longer than normal. I think it might be, might not be. I'm not sure. I think it is. Um, but I've enjoyed colouring this picture and I hope you've enjoyed it too and I'll just finish this bit off and we'll have a look at the finished result. So there we go we have our Morgana Sky Ouija board. So like I said thank you for joining me I'm so glad um, that you stopped by. Um, hope you made it through the whole video and I'll see you in the next one where we're doing Tropic Goth. See you soon. Bye.